Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. US stocks climbed for a second day on Thursday, helped by lower Treasury yields as Wall Street clawed back the steep losses suffered earlier in the week. The benchmark 10-year Treasury slipped three basis points to 4.24%. The two-year Treasury yield fell two basis points to 4.56%. Investors have spent the week assessing where things stand in the US economy, but a slew of indicators have given mixed signals so far. Fresh data from Thursday morning revealed that retail sales dropped 0.8% in January. That's much more than the 0.3% decline expected by economists, according to Dow Jones. This raised some concern about the strength of the US consumer under the weight of sticky inflation and high interest rates and sent Treasury yields down. Overall, the broad stock index climbed 0.58%, while the Nasdaq Composite added 0.3%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average traded 0.91% higher. Tesla and Meta platforms outperformed, rising 6% and 2% respectively. Shares of Wells Fargo rose 7% after the office of the comptroller of the currency ended a key penalty for the bank. Nuva Monde Graphite's shares soared 25% following key offtake agreements with General Motors Company and Panasonic Energy. The deal with GM entails supplying 18,000 tonnes of anode material annually, with GM investing US $150 million to support operations. Novonix also secured an agreement with Panasonic Energy for 10 tons of synthetic graphite from their Riverside facility in Tennessee. Earnings season continued to paint a muddled picture of corporate America. TripAdvisor jumped 9% after beating estimates on both the top and bottom lines. On the other hand, Cisco shares were down 2% after the tech company announced layoffs and weak forward sales projections. Deere's stock dropped 5% after the agricultural machinery manufacturer lowered its guidance for its full year net income. Equities rallied on Wednesday, but did not erase all of the losses from Tuesday's sell-off, which came on the heels of a hotter-than-expected inflation report. The S&P 500 recaptured the 5,000 level, closing slightly above it. Turning to commodities, oil surged briefly above $83 per barrel, gold surpassed $2,000 per ounce, and iron ore approached $130 per tonne, driven by a weakening US dollar. Overall, all U.S. sectors except for tech closed higher overnight. Energy, real estate and materials were the top performers. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.95% gain. Thank you for listening and have a great weekend.